The costing endpoint, you and me, buddy. I know. What a dream. Endpoint, the team that we originally started off with over on Team's Dreams in, oh my gosh, the, see, the 2122 20, season? 21? Yeah, I think I so, think. I think so. A few years ago, back on the Endpoint days, um, we've done a lot of work as well for Resolve. So these are both of our, like, English-owned teams uh, that are coming out to play. Um, both orgs very, very friendly. But regardless, this match is going to be bloodshed because this is going to be deciding who goes through into the top eight, who has a chance at the major, and also who goes home and completely slashes their chance of that major on the home soil as well for most of the players just completely to smithereens. Precisely, this is the one that these players will want to come to. So much English blood in this lobby behind the scenes right now. They'll be desperate to make it to London. A lot of these players will have watched London at the Copper Box before. Will they be able to get there? I've got my eye on that player right there, Cash. I mean, I always do. I think he's a fantastic player. And that is why he is capable of the brilliance. Sending it down in the Mackie as well. 40 seconds in as well. Goes up high, fakes out to the backboard, takes it low, does get helped in on its way by Matane. Regardless, they all count as one, and that is resolved with a lead. Now, we have these two teams who, I would say it's about par. They're making it at least this far, but making it to the top eight is such a huge opportunity at the start of this split. And here's Ivan again, resolved, running rings around Endpoint. Lovely touch, too. It's a little bit of an error from Toxic as he takes it the immediate 50. But because Cash is there a little bit later, the ball then goes in his favor. Can dunk it round. Ivan there central. And Raziz, amongst all of that, is sending players from endpoint to the scrapyard. It's 2 0. It is a brave, brave beginning right now from Resolve. You see how close all three of their players were to that blue goal right there. There was no fear that the demo would be dodged and it could lead to a counter attack. Resolve looking to press the issue from the off against poor old Endpoint. We've barely even had a chance to talk about them. These are players who have a little bit of experience themselves, backed by the brilliant Andy the Mandy, the coach. Yeah, seeing Endpoint as well. Everybody's going to know these players, Andrew Matain especially. Toxic, if you will remember, had one of the best goals um, at the last set of open qualifiers that we have ever seen, getting that pinch from his own post as a save all the way to the opposite end of the pitch when he played for Top Cougars. Brilliant play from him. Unfortunately, though, that has not been repeating so far. Unable to get any goals in game number one. Yeah, so far it's looking like that may be Endpoint's best way of scoring a goal because they are getting nowhere near the orange air net right now as Cash continues to run rings around him. The lowest scoring player on Resolve is so far outperforming everybody on Endpoint. It's 78 to 74, the highest on Endpoint. And that's Cash yet again with a goal that's too sunk for him. We, yeah, we've really not seen Endpoint work out into the orange half at all so far. I'm sure they'll find their way. Andy the Mandy may well be having some preliminary thoughts into their headsets, even at this early point, just saying, calm it down, lads, or remember what we're focused on, or whatever it might be, because this is the sort of game that can very quickly get away from you. But with three minutes and ten seconds left, they can get themselves back into this one, mm -hmm. as they are repping the beautiful Endpoint decal. Resolve for a good one as well, the green beauty. But they're rocking on the other side, so some uh, some pretty cars in this one. I love seeing any player at any given moment repping their team decal, and it's the new one coming through as well, um, with the sponsor on the side for Resolve. With Endpoint as ever, their 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 designs are just absolutely spectacular. But as we approach half time, they need to get a couple of spectacular goals under their belt. Arge with an air dribble towards target gets over one. The cash can dive in now with 100 boost, a little bit of magic potentially to the backboard. It's going to be a tap down. Toxic is there first. There's a counter attack flying down the other side. That's the kind of ideas that you want to see coming through from Endpoint. Ivan takes a touch here in the corner. Arju's trying to get it over him, but a Double. huge demo comes out. Two demos from Raziers, who is causing all sorts of problems to Team Endpoint's defense right now. They're struggling to stay on the pitch, let alone block the shots that are raining in against them. Razier seems to be at the key for that, the lowest scorer right now for Resolve, but he has done some serious work off the ball. Three minutes elapsed, midfield battles galore. Not had any goals really coming through for a little while, but that suits Resolve absolutely fine. And it is Endpoint's worst nightmare. They need to get something back in his fifth round of Swiss. Toxic finds Matein on target. Razier's to save it away. Ivan now up high. Arju with a second touch. Instead, Cash gets there next can block it away from becoming anything too offensive. Toxic, very low on boost, shot towards target. Ivan knows it's wide, this could take his time up the sidewall. I'm just trying to make things as difficult as possible for Resolve. They would love to take at least a goal into game number two. What I would say is that they've at least stemmed the Resolve flow. It's not quite looking as dominant as it was in the first minute or so of this game. 
Now as well having to do some defending, finding themselves on the backboard, being called into action. Arju is trying to do what Razias was doing earlier on and causing all those bumps and demos to make things tough. And in Wonderful. the end, it's a beautiful little itty bitty passing play. Outstanding from them as well. Toxic sends it in the middle. The Metain shot on net. It's either or, and Toxic can snatch it away from Ivan. Below the crossbar, only two to bring back in 70 seconds. Suddenly seems very, very doable. Let's see how this kickoff goes. Nothing particularly fancy there, just a default one. But Arju is the recipient. Metain picks up some boost as well. What can he do with it? Has 100. The first touch is blocked no. by Cash. The second so as well. He still manages to barge his way through. But Cash somehow flings that ball to the side. So ask the question of Arju. Arju tries to fake it, but he's sent away. So Endpoint certainly cooking something. Thompson now up high, a reset, takes it early, bumps one, Cash is then there to save it away. 45 ticking down, Arju now going central, Ivan to clear it long and wide. Chance for Toxic to push this round, but with zero boost, the question's going to be asked of him and he is not going to know the answer. If he does have Mitain to his left, is he able to find him? I'd say that touch was a little bit loose, a little bit thoughtless. At this time you have to be precise, you have to make every hit count and that's not what's happened there. And it will lead them save. in, there was a big save from Arju, this one still might roll in. Oh, uh, Ivan, sorry, just watch as Razir's put it away. That will be game, but endpoint showed signs. It's also very aggressive positioning from Razir's. If he gets beaten there, all three players are on the blue side of the pitch. Yes, there's only 20 seconds left, but instead of a 4-1, we could be looking at a 3-2 and a very nervy 20 seconds ticking down. It's aggressive from Razir's. I personally don't like to see that amount of aggression when you've got a two-goal lead so late, but it's worked out this time. Yeah, that seems to be what they are focusing on right now. Uh, res resolve. And it's worked to an absolute treat here in this first game. Looking like they're going to take it as the ball is landing. It's going to be at least four goals to one. And that'll probably be that. Yeah, I mean, it was a brave performance from Resolve. It was, yeah, it was aggressive. It was early uh, attention shown as well, showing that there's not going to be any space realistically for Endpoint to work their way out of their own half. And with Resolve taking game number one, two more. I'm not sure you'll ever get consistency from Cash. That is not what you please when you sign. I know, I know, hey. Please. I know, mate, mate, because, because he, he sort of peaks a, a, a 9 out of 10, but he can drop to a 6 out of 10. If you could always have him peaking at an 8.5, but only drop to an 8.3, is oh, that a trade-off that you'd take? Yeah. I'm not sure I would. You yeah. want the ability from Cash to, to do the unexpected. I want Cash at an English major. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I don't really, I don't care about him doing a six. I want to see him have, you know, the, um, like an English football fan, like body paint with like the white and red flag right. on him on the stage. Like Wayne Rooney. Well, I want him to absolutely boot the ball after being told off by an admin and just see what happens. Right, okay, okay. Cash is apparently Stumpy Goblin's Wayne Rooney. Not quite yeah. sure why like 2000 that is. Oh, gosh. Five? Four? <laughs> Wayne Rooney? Okay. Yeah, I think it was on Football Game that we shouldn't mention, on the front cover of that. But anyway, was it whatever. on the front cover of Football Game? <laughs> I think it was, yeah. Here he is, Wayne Rooney himself, popping that one out wide. Not quite booting it top corner like Wayne Rooney did for the Reds. Ah, oh, mon the Reds, mate. Mon the Reds. Here's Ivan with Cash to his left. Cash charging that one up. Endpoint will be happy uh, that they haven't conceded in the first 30 odd seconds here because I think they were two goals down by now, maybe even three. So it's been a much more solid start from them. Tain up in the sky, pushes it out wide towards Razias. Razias just tries to barge Arju out of the way, but no one's really falling for those anymore. Those rotate out bumps. You'll mm -hmm. be a bit more creative if you're going to try and hit your opponents. Yeah, it seems like pretty much every player knows to, okay, they've done a pass in. I'm just going to either hide behind the post a little bit. Great demo from Ivan. He was not aiming for Matane whatsoever. But I think Arju just about managed to sneak out the way and put Ivan in his place. Chances, though, for endpoint. Decent shots coming through and definitely a different mantra as well so far. Yeah, certainly making the, uh, the statement for themselves. I'm just trying to defend and hold out. I think that two or three minutes in the last game where they survived and didn't concede was really important for them. Line players like Arju, they're sort of more flair players. They're more aggressive first men into the game a bit more. And here comes Toxic, the man you mentioned has scored perhaps the goal of the season, that pinch play. This one's going to have to be a near save from him. Not going to happen. Here's Razias again. Yeah, it had to be perfect. And Ivan manages to beat one out with a the dunk, then gets the boost, then passes it central. The entire time, Toxic can only watch from about five car lengths behind the ball, agonizingly close. But a tap in the other side for Resolve is going to be putting them ahead again.
And for all our sort of gentle praise of Team Endpoint for how they've started this second game, still yet to have a shot on the resolve net, which is not ideal from them. So I feel like they had these two. <laughs> the amount of pressure they had, I kind of pressure assumed that something went on target. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, like shit in the game, bro. No, 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 never would. No, no, epic. Good. Please do not. No, we're good. Good. Is retain the second shot. Was that a shot, Stumpy? Huh? Oh no anymore. Is Toxic going for another awkward pinch? Wow, this guy. He can generate a shot out of absolutely nothing. He does so again there, doesn't go in, but look at all the pressure it leads to. Matein, he puts this one out wide. Still no shots for Endpoint. Cash is going to send it forward. Could be two here, depending on Razia's touch. Arju's up, Razia's to the ceiling, and Arju does just about enough, at least for now, but in comes Ivan. He did all the hard work, but couldn't put the ball to the side. You look at Razia's putting in all the legwork here. Gets one touch, then Arju bumps Toxic out of the way after he gets bumped by Razia's. Resist by extension, bumping two players, and Ivan can get pretty much another tap in. It's the teammates from Resolve set each other up so consistently and so effectively and efficiently that when it comes down to the final touch, it's near enough guaranteed because all the legwork has been put in about 10 seconds prior. And mechanically, Endpoint just don't have that final touch right now. I mean, Toxic just now, he, he went for a dodge, wanted to get himself bouncing off the wall and following the ball up, but he just hit the wall with the front of his car, and it didn't quite work. These are key moments mm. that Resolve aren't, you know, they're not falling for it. They're not thinking, oh, he's got something here and defending too deep. They are knowing when Endpoint don't have the ball under their control. Minute 45, and with Resolve a two-goal lead, Cash is on the push yet again. Can't quite flick it as high as the Mac e would potentially elude that it can. Resist to the ceiling. Matane's not even up. Neither is Toxic. It gives Ivan free reign of the ball. He can get a double tap. No one's there, but it shows there's not that much fight from the defensive endpoint. Yeah, I want to see so much more from them now. It's starting to look pretty ugly. They have got one shot at least, so they've got something on the Resolve net. But Ivan sends this one forward again. They find themselves endpoint. A couple of goals down. Resolve looking flawless so far in their performance. Remember, the winner of this series gets to tomorrow, makes mm -hmm. the playoffs, is in at least the top eight after this fourth open qualifier, mm -hmm. which is a huge, huge thing to achieve. So this is outwards. Here's Cash again. He's not going to miss that one. There's butterflies coming out the, the goal of the Blues as well as in their stomachs. This final minute, it's three to the good yet again, and it's Cash just taking a pretty simple shot on target. Matane didn't have any boost, but... You'd expect some contact to be made, especially considering how close that ended up being to him. No chances, unfortunately, for Endpoint really operating whatsoever. And the routine game at number two here is going to pretty much leave Endpoint chasing their tails and hoping that they can get a single game. It's really not looking great for Team Endpoint right now. Even when they have had flashes of pressure, you've not got the sense that Resolve have ever been struggling and... When Resolve do have the ball, they just have that edge. Mm. I think that's the thing, yeah. It's like, we're seeing the ideas from Endpoint. We're seeing that they are trying to go for a couple of nice plays, like oh, that from Toxic. Say. They're then being shut down either at the first uh, uh, point of play, where it doesn't even really begin to see what the idea is going to be, or that final point of play. Like there, again, Cash just gets completely in the way of the ball. Throws off Arju. Yeah, Matane can get a touch, but where's it going to be going after that? It's tipped into the corner, and then finally, Ivan gets to it. There's not that final touch, press, whatever you want to call it, that comes through from any of Endpoint's plays. And Resolve, they are shutting everything down masterfully at every turn. To the ground it goes. Resolve, yet another game. One more out of these two are the only ones that earn it. Uh, what I would say as well is that while we have been questioning Endpoint and the way they're approaching this series, I mean, not the theory going into it, but, you know, where they're at now, although that will help, an early goal will certainly set up their nerves. I was going to say Resolve, what they've been doing well is continuing to be aggressive, but also balancing it well. They're not overcommitted. That fake kickoff wasn't uh, as effective as they hoped it would be. But overall, I would say they've, they've struck the perfect chord between defence and attack. But it's a chance. With one second gone, you're starting the game with a plus one handicap. It's the perfect start that you can absolutely hope for. Toxic bumping cash away from that one. It's central. Retain to shoot actually goes into the corner with a reset as well, mechanically, an incredibly gifted player that hasn't been able to show it so far in this series. Toxic gets that one down. A two-goal lead would be massive for Endpoint, but not quite to be on that occasion. The attack just ran out of fire. He's going to bounce into the center. As he is, is approaching it quick. More good pace from Resolve. An endpoint there, chasing shadows right now. It's looking like it could be a good chance for Resolve until Arju nips in there, absolutely boostless, just to send the ball back. 
But is the follow-up coming quickly enough? Retaining to the corner. Ivan's already there for it. Toxic has to win this one against Ivan and does. Endpoint certainly seems to have up the pace. I think pace absolutely is what they need too. A lot of the time it's being very patient with the ball, taking it slower, technically making it maybe a little bit more awkward for Resolve. But that also means that they can then bring a player back. A great dunk from Toxic. Good speed on him and Cash bodying Ivan out of the way to try and get I've up seen pitch. a couple of moments like that from Resolve so far this game where there have been a double commit or a, a fake that's not been read. And just for the first time in this series, Resolve is starting to look like they're, they're feeling the pressure a little bit. Maybe starting to believe they are going to win this one. Starting to see themselves, their names up in lights tomorrow, signing on their computers in order to, you know, play in these playoffs. And that adds its own little, you know, spark of difficulty. Mm. And Cole, what's the term for that that we coined? Winner's tilt, my friend. They're getting yeah, winner's tilt. Yeah. When you think, I'm going to win, and so therefore you change how you're playing. So either you think, oh gosh, now I need to play differently, or you're just worried. And Toxic, Ooh, in, well a, in, 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 in little old headlock with Raziz, is unable to actually complete it very long as Raziz gets there. As he is here, takes one touch upwards. Resolve find themselves behind, but I would still say they have general control of this game, bearing in mind that the goal they conceded was one second in from the kickoff. Cash around the corner, he will be in the nightmares of endpoint, the way things are going right now. So I can push that one up to the ceiling. Raziers is all the way back. Happy to do that resolve, not charging forwards too much. Although what I would say something is Raziers has definitely slowed down a little bit. He's seemingly toned down the aggression a tad. I mean, if he's not in positions to be aggressive, then so be it. But again, Cole, you know, you mentioned earlier about the... Uh, the double commits coming through from Resolve. Again, we see it. Cash and Ivan both committing to the same ball when realistically you send one wave for the 50. That's what we saw Gentlemates do so well. Oh. Is then when the 50 comes through, you can then lose it back to your teammate. Then they've got a much easier shot. We're right now seeing both players trying to go for the initial 50. And it was so close there to teeing off or getting on the end of some brilliant cash work, but couldn't quite connect with it. I'd say he sends it forward towards Toxic. Arju's just waiting. I want to see a bit more from Team Endpoint. They're waiting to see what Resolve are going to do with the ball instead of trying to force them left or force them right. Chance to bump there instead. And it backfires. Cash does not fancy getting a touch on any player. Instead, he's only got eyes for the ball. Sends it high from Raziz. Can then tip it on with the nose of the Mac E below the crossbar. Toxic does what he can, but it is absolutely not enough. But just look at the difference between Resolve right now and Team Endpoint. Team Endpoint, they had a forward play, they had an attack, and they were just waiting for the ball to come back at them. Then they were going to decide how to approach it. Mm. And Resolve get the ball, they have a player in front clearing the way. They have the, uh, the opportunism to try and find him from the pass, mm -hmm. and they have the bravery to commit to the attack. I like seeing the amount of pressure that has been built so far from Endpoint. I'm just not liking seeing the final result of what that is all of the time. But you're right, every now and then they'll just fall into that trap of just waiting for the ball to come to them. Toxic there, intelligently waiting. Does not let uh, him himself dive in for that one. Raziz, can't quite get it past Toxic. Arju to shoot Ivan, corner bound with 50 boost. That's wait for Toxic's touch, but with Toxic with nothing, touch. Ivan again to the backboard. Matane is gonna be there, chasing the ball down. I've been great there, by the way, not to just send that ball downwards. It would have been so easy mm -hmm. to slam it down and have an endpoint player waiting there. And we know that is what they are doing, waiting for Resolve's touches. So I have to be really careful. He got the scoop underneath that one to send it off to safety. This is with the reset, can get one and the second. Ooh. Actually lures two players from endpoint to try and challenge that one. Talks about the crossbar, Cash has to get a touch, does so. For trust on Ivan on the side. The second touch is oh, quite coming in, Raziz. And Ivan now challenging, it's a demo. Talks had a chance, Matane had another chance. Arjo oh, no, has the third Arjo. chance. Arjo. And Ivan, he gets the final touch into his own net. He just couldn't help but get a touch on it. I think they would have got away with this one. Ivan, he had to... Oh, no, he didn't. It was Arjo. Uh, I, okay. I, I also thought Ivan used his reset to then back. I thought the he ball. did. From my angle, uh, yeah, I don't know I about what the, the audience saw, but from our angle, it looked just like that. So if we I, just look silly, mm -hmm. you know, blame the camera angles. I also thought that he had that angle and then just thought, well, I've got a reset, so I'm going to use it. But no, instead it was actually tapped in by Arju, I think it was in the end. So well done, Arju, for continuing well the attack. Toxic. And suddenly, Endpoint are alive. Love it. Aggression coming through. Not waiting for anything anymore. Destiny is in their hands. Matane flumping his way onto that ball. Toxic can send it home. 30 seconds left, Resolve find themselves chasing by two. Our endpoint able to turn this one into at least four games. It'll be more than 
grateful to see this one out with no more goals, but misses like that won't help unless it was tactical. Perhaps Arjun Umatain was coming in. He doesn't play together for such a long time. That was just the backboard. Cash has to make something happen now. I don't think he'll be able to, especially as he's faked out by Arju. Endpoint sprinting away to the finish line in this game right now. The hard work is only just starting. Even if they take it, they still need a couple more. Endpoint, I am very impressed with how they attacked the final minute, minute and a half of this game. Because finally, they weren't just waiting. They were putting forward their aggression. They were making sure that in them... streams at once. You are No, I just said watching. I see. <laughs> I'll just don't get lulled into casting that one. <laughs> that would be, that'd be bad. And Joyo, what a goal! Here with Endpoint, they need to make sure that they can continue the form that they had in that game number three. Make sure that it wasn't just a flash in the pan, because Resolve are going to come out swinging. They have got performance coaches, mental coaches, whatever, up the wazoo. They are going to make sure that that is not going to continue, and Endpoint, they need to fight against that force. They've stepped back up the pace again. Resolve, they are looking to demo Endpoint into Oblivion, which was so effective. They seem to have taken their foot off the gas somewhat in the oh. last game, but they are being countered currently. Razier's is more than grateful just to have that ball land on his car and flick it away. Anywhere will do from that point. Everyone's charging into this one. Cash an awkward touch. Ooh. Ivan then has to do the same as then it back towards Cash. It sort of worked out for them, but I don't think how they anticipated it. Not what you train on the training ground of all the drills. Beep, 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 I think Stumpy has something to say. Oxygen do have you? just won. It's 3-1 hey. to them. Oxygen are in the quarterfinals after a goal from Archie, assisted by Oski. So now this is the final game to decide our eighth team to qualify into the playoffs. And I'll tell you what, we have picked the feature match as well today. I'm pretty sure yeah. all except one have been the final finish. So good job whoever's in charge of that. We've done well. We've done very well. Speaking of doing well, here's Cash, who's had a good series so far. He tees up Ivan, who's not quite got the pace to get that one over the top. Razier's onto the backboard. Huge clearance from Matane. This one might be going all the way in, even with the little nudge from Toxic. Endpoint complete their counter. It's such a good touch from Matane. Like, Perfectly flies down the pitch, kisses the ceiling just enough for Toxic to then get back to it. With more than enough boost, it's not going to be a problem. Minute and a half gone. Resolve are going to be chasing yet again. Endpoint with the exact play style that they wanted. That was pretty perfect from them. Just sit back, wait for Resolve to uh, do their thing. And then they've done it again, Stumpy. You can see as well, just popped up, confirming what I said. 3-1 in favour of Oxygen, but the second goal for Endpoint. It's again, Matane setting it up, making sure that wherever he's putting this ball, especially for his last, like, two out of the five touches that he's made, they have been goal-scoring opportunities. Brilliant play from him. So, what can they return with? I mean, that's what I've been wondering myself. I can't quite put my finger on what Team Endpoint have changed. It's something subtle. It is not the wholesale change that I requested mm. after Game 2. It's something very minute. It's the minutiae sure of the series. I, I just think they're following up now. I think before they got a little bit scared, a little bit spooked from when Resolve were really close behind a lot of the balls. This time, they're actually making sure that, OK, we have an opportunity to close the gap here. We have an opportunity to keep the, the aggression going. We now don't need to just wait for whatever touch is going to be coming in next. We can be that next touch. We can be that pushing force. The problem with that, you need to be on the exact same page as your teammates. Because if you're both trying to react within point one of a second, then it becomes so much harder to actually stay coordinated and make sure you're not double committing. Will Razias keep falling for Endpoint's new trick? And will Resolve be able to keep sending this ball forward they've had so much of the play the ball has been in the blue half almost the entirety of this game and still they find themselves a couple of goals down and fewer shots as well seven for endpoint now to the three of resolve it's a great play from them this is their game plan working in full effect cash has his own game plan though what's yeah. underneath this ball does Matane reads it well sends it sideways Razias has to get this one towards the goal he does the bump oh. there Matane a heroic touch to keep it at 2-0 Razias though doing exactly what you said about earlier Cole where he goes to the pass gets the bump and then there's another endpoint player waiting there. Brilliant positioning from them. Cash now going solo from the ceiling. Doesn't actually use his second jump, or at least not for a, uh, a flick. Just has to get closer to it. Arju now. Touch off the ceiling. Another touch onward. And look, we've not seen too much pressure coming through from either side after those first two goals have been scored. And that is going to suit endpoint absolutely fine. We've had these nearly chances from Resolve. And I think that save from Matane just seems to have taken the sting out of this game so far. Resolve are going to have to generate another attack. They're going to have to start it from scratch because 
clearance is going nowhere. Cash's couple of touches, easily read by Toxic. Until that bump comes in, it seems a bit more tricky for him. Matein has the boost to take this one away, and I don't think Ivan thought he had any. It's a good fakery there from Team Endpoint yet again. Toxic has a chance to send this one goalwards. It shouldn't go in. Razier's, I wondered if Ivan had got in his way for a split second, but good not demo. to be. The result running out of time. Touch. Oh, Toxic does it to all of them. Demos one, then gives it, it's a cheeky touch around the two. Dunks again, tries to go for another bump. This has been completely toxic. The last 30 seconds, Cash trying to get a reset, doesn't really get too much from it. And the masterful play from Endpoint to bring this to a potential five. The turnaround has been sublime. What I'd say as well is that Cash keeps going for these solo plays and Endpoint is sitting so deep. It's incredibly difficult to get past two or three players when they're on their own goal line and they have the read and they have full boost and your team are trying to follow you up but there's just too much distance for them to cover because you're the first man. It's really difficult right now for Resolve. The game plan for them has stopped working. That's better though. When Much better. Cash combines, suddenly things are effective. Cash alleviates the ball, faking out the solo play, boost, sends it past two, Matane pre-jumps for it, RG has to get back with zero boost, cannot make the touch, and that's what I was saying earlier, you can send one player to the ball, you cannot afford to send two, especially when Cash thinks, I send it to a teammate, we're going to do better out of it. Finally, resolve fighting back. Endpoint have 20 seconds left to hold. Are they able to do so? Retain getting that touch will help them. Razia should be able to get this ball, but Toxic is too pacey. Arjo has a chance to kill it, and he does, and we are heading to the fifth. Game five at the start of this series, I would have called you bonkers. I would have called you, you a buffoon. I would have said, would have. gosh, cool Cole, aren't you a silly little ginger man? And would yet, have. here we are, game five on the precipice, to see who goes through. It's, it's going to be a huge defining moment, and that kickoff is a great start for Resolve. They can define this whole split. What Resolve and what Endpoint do here, are they going to see themselves breaking in, you know, comfortably into a mm -hmm. top five, perhaps, into a top six, just stepping up the Rocket League Esports totem pole? To do so, you have to do themselves, and perhaps they won't make the same mistakes that they have been making. So if Endpoint then change their play style and try and attack it, will Resolve mm. have an answer? The aggression has definitely been the key in this series so far. And Endpoint will not want to have that key changed nor duplicated. Starts off with the aggression that Endpoint really managed to gather in game number four in this fifth one. Detained towards the right-hand side. Ivan Akash waiting patiently on the floor. A touchdown actually confuses two players. One from each side. Ivan can't get the bump. Cash can't get the goal. Toxic stays firm. That whole chance, though, comes from Matein. Instead of charging the ball down immediately, letting, I think it was Cash, have a couple of touches and then closing him down, it's a stylistic choice. It's not good, it's not bad, but it's something Endpoint have been doing this whole time, letting Resolve have clean touches and they're fed in them a little bit deeper. When it doesn't work, suddenly Resolve went through. It's a good demo as well. Toxic removing a player right from the back of the pitch. Just to make sure they're a little bit worried. Razir is missing that one. Now a zero boost. He has to chase it back on pads. Toxic again demoing. Nobody in Resolve's back line is going to be safe from that man. Razir has to do some good work here, and he does. He might even charge this one down against Matane too. Combining with Ivan. Here comes Cash. He's Low got curve. a clean shot. He takes it. All three Resolve players involved. They get their lead. Tell you what the most interesting thing is there. Look at Cash's camera. Before, like, during like, last season, he scores a goal like that in a very important moment. Do you know how loud he's getting? I think you yeah. can pick it up on my mic, even if he was up in Sheffield two hours away, right? Sure. You, you could hear it. He is calmer. He is much more composed. Has that worked so far in this series? Not perfectly, but it shows that there is a different side to him that he's making sure comes out on this on, on, when he's on result. As a maturity, and in game fives, it will become paramount if his team are to go on and take this one. But Endpoint, no, they've got goals in them. They have to stick to the script unless they decide to, as I was saying earlier, twist and completely change things. He's toxic. He's certainly got the potential to go 1v3 against these resolved players, but no one's gone for the ball. Matein suddenly has to do some defending. He sends it high, just trying to buy some time for his team. It's perfectly towards Toxie. His touch is an ideal, though. Cash tries to sneak it in. Ivan makes the goal big, and it's Ivan that squeezes it home. It's a great play as well. Toxic, it's a mistouch. Takes it away from Matein. Either could let it roll down or taking it higher. Either way, he does something awkwardly in the middle. Cash central. Ivan's there. It's another tap in. A minute 40 elapsed. And two goals to be chased by Endpoint.
The problem with the way Endpoint play is do they have it in them to force the issue? Now they have to at the end of this mountain of a series of a long day as well. Bear yeah. in mind, this is Series 5, Game 5 in a Swiss. It is exhausting. Yeah. And they've been playing Rocket League for four or five hours at this point, okay? It's tough. And they've got to get these two goals and they have to force it. I mean, so far, we've only seen them win games, I believe, when they have been in the lead the entire time. They've not had to fight back from a loss to actually make sure, or rather from a losing position, to actually win that individual game. And we approach half-time, and it's pure pressure from Resolve, making sure that Endpoint do not have a second to think. Zayn's going to wait underneath this one, Arju. Comes in ahead of him. Razia's looking at him, just staring down the eyes of Arjun. The Italian gets it past all of them. Toxic is hoping Ivan's going to miss this one. Don't think that was ever going to happen, but I appreciate the gamble. As Cash jinx it past Metain, Arju was reading that one well. And Arju does clean up. Can Toxic step up? Which player from Endpoint will be the one to get them back in this game? More pressure, though. Resolve. They, contend they, they, they continue on. Razia's going central with it. Now Ivan shies away. Cash bangs oh. it top corner. And the leave from Ivan here is absolutely paramount to the success. And look at Cash turning around as well. Yeah, you're right. The, the comms were good. Even after all these hours, Cash was able to cool down his teammate. And that's the added composure you've been talking about from Cash Thumpy. Would he have had yeah. that call or would he have just charged a season or so ago? Two minutes now. Three goals is the lead that stands for resolve. And then point. Still, we're waiting to see what they can bring forward that they can actually chase. And also, I saw in the previous goal uh, when they scored, somebody in the background, I believe the videographer, whoever that is for Resolve, did a proper fist pump. He was like, yes, so excited. This is a whole team effort. That's what the RLCS does to you. It gets you involved one way or the other. Even if you don't know your Rocket League coming into it, you find yourself a fan pretty much immediately when you're watching online or when you're at an event. It's the real beautiful game is Rocket League. And Resolver making it look as such as Razias tries to get it over the top of Matein and Arju. Ivan slows things down. Now Resolve can do that. Now it's Endpoint that have to up the pace. Now it's Toxic that has to get another one of his famous pinches towards the orange net. But look how deep Resolver defending now, Stumpy. Perfect game management. Razias taps it round one and the second, and then just wastes a little bit of time. Grabs boost. He's going to be burning this too. Fakes out another. Has the reset. Has the demo in front of him. Ivan can chip it round two as well. Oh, lovely. That was complete disrespect for 20 seconds on your screens, ladies and gentlemen. It was a class save there from Matei to put that one out wide, but Ivan had the composure. He had the time just to do the old school double tap, send it into the corner, and send Resolve almost certainly into tomorrow's playoffs. It's going to be a near enough certainty. 4 0, even with like two minutes left, you're looking at like a 99% win rate for the team that's got four. Arju's oh. going to do his best to try and loosen it down to three. But the bounce back from Endpoint was incredible. We said that Resolve had winners till originally. Maybe. They then lost two games in a row after Endpoint really found their way back into it. I don't know how much that was winners till or how much that came down to Endpoint changing how they were playing. But then it turned round back the other way and Resolve. Cole, what a magnificent mental they have shown for us in round five. Yeah, Razias has impressed me throughout the entire series. He has been the bully standing up mm. against Team Endpoint, making them squirm, sending them back to their own half. Whenever they felt they were going to have their own way, it's the big old German that stepped up against them. And now this is nothing more than a victory lap. Razias tries to get himself a little psycho. We saw uh, Zen fail one of those earlier, but it's not going to matter. Resolve are going to make it to tomorrow's playoffs. And in the end, they're going to do it in style. You see them sitting there. Having fist bumps, a little massage, <laughs> love that. Brazil, I'm sure, appreciates it too. But just the amount of, of preparation that's clearly gone to the series like that. Resolve and Endpoint, I regard them in a very similar camp. They, they sit at a very similar level to me, generally. No matter really what their squad is, they're normally fighting for those sort of similar positions, anywhere between like 10th or I guess like 12th to 6th, somewhere around there. And this time, Resolve, they come out the better. Congratulations to them. We will be seeing them tomorrow in the quarterfinals. I'm just waiting to see who they're going to be coming up against because it depends on what the winning score oh, was. And Razir's, take it immediately to Twitter, mate. Farm those likes, pal.
Yeah, the, the videographer there as well, smiling. He's loving his job right now. It's easy to do it when your team are winners. Mm. You know, the, 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 the end of tournament vlog becomes a lot more simple to edit when there's smiles all around. And there deserve to be smiles all around for Resolve. You yeah. know, they really found... And th this is a new team, right? We've got the two new players coming in for them. And you can't be 100% consistent 100% of the time mm -hmm. straight away. But certainly at times, they look like a proper team.